Skip the hustle and bustle of the mall and keep your holiday spirit alive. Celebrity stylist Robert Verdi is the go-to guy for Hollywood A-listers, and he is style correspondent for The View, Regis and Kelly, and The Today Show. So excited to say he's joining us today on New Mexico Style to tell us how we can delight everyone on our holiday shopping list without even having to step foot in the dreaded mall. Good morning, Robert. Hi, Nikki. How are you? I am so excited to talk to you. I can't even tell you. I'm a huge fan of you, and I think you have oh, such great Oh, thank you. I'm happy to be with you. I'm a huge fan of Albuquerque. Are There's you? so you... much great art in Albuquerque. It's yes. amazing, isn't it? Next time you're in town, you'll have to come I live. I love New Mexico. It's a beautiful, beautiful state. Well, yes. you know, there's so many wonderful vendors around this beautiful city, and we don't always like to have to go to the mall. It can be so hectic. So what are some suggestions yeah. that you can give us to get away from those crowds? Well, going to the crowded malls is just, it's just chaos. It's just, it makes us all n feel crazy because you can't find sizes. People are throwing things everywhere. Yeah. It's just become, a, it just become overwhelming. And you can get great gifts at stores that you go to all the time. And mm. I, I mean, I say I do all my heart, I do all my shopping, all my holiday shopping at hardware stores, gourmet food stores, and drug stores. Mm. And I get it all done. I know, the drug store's um, a good but place. Some of the be oh my God, they're the best. <laughs> I, I actually... I'm telling you, they're the best stores to go to. I, I stocked up on these great gift sets from P&G Beauty at Walmart, and they're okay. great gifts for the manicurist, the babysitter, the dog walker. You always need to give something thoughtful, but also something practical. Mm -hmm. If you want to give these gifts and make them feel a little more special and speak to someone's personality or lifestyle, mm -hmm. I pair this Luscious Indulgence gift set with these Kumi Cocoon silk slippers and eye mask, and I give it to mm. do it all moms in my life. So I have all my friends who have kids and are always getting, you know, behind the eight ball and don't yes. take care of themselves. I say, take a minute to take care of yourself and I give them, you know, I write it on a card. Here's a little spa moment for you. Take, a, take, take some time out for yourself. It and makes they so much sense. That. So pra practical gifts can have a luxury feeling when you do that. See, I love that. And you know, and they're also inexpensive, aren't they? I mean, it's a lot easier as the buyer to Absolutely. be able to buy. Do you have any other good suggestions it, for inexpensive gifts? For inexpected, inexpensive. Yeah, here's, here's a great idea. Yeah, here's a great idea. So a lot of the girls in my office love fashion. They're obsessed with celebrities. So I always get a couple of magazines and I roll them up and I tie to it uh -huh. this it, which is the hottest color. It happens to be called Hot. It's, it's, it's from CoverGirl. It's CoverGirl lip color. And it's a universally flattering shade of red. Looks great on everybody's skin tone. Really? And I put it together with the magazine, and I hang uh, a little hang tag that says, You're so glamorous. And <laughs> they love it. They feel like a superstar. And they have this great product, and they get to actually read the magazine on their way home on the train because we're in the big city, right? So, yes. so they get to, they're not driving and reading the magazine. Of course not. Um, and that's a, fun, that's, a, that's a fun little gift that, that I think people really love getting that's inexpensive. I'm using that idea, Robert. I'm totally stealing that. I love that. That's so it's much a, fun. It's a, it's a great one. Yeah, it is. And you know, here's... Yeah, that's a great one. This one's great. Okay, this go ahead. is great too, Nikki. I, I get this for all the celebrities on my, on my list okay. because they're always on the red carpet and they always have to smile, smile, mm. smile. Um, I get the Oral-B Professional Care 1000 toothbrush, and I give it to them with this playful camera from Kodak. Fun. And I say, thanks for all the smiles, and have a good time on the red carpet this year. And they love it. It's a great little gift. I love, see, I love that. And, and everybody wants to have the same gifts that the celebrities are getting, so that's in itself Well, a that's thing. also such a, a practical gift. It's it like is. it's a toothbrush, but the sentiment behind yeah. it is like you put a million smiles on people's faces, and you make me smile and smile. It's like exactly. The whole, idea is warm and feels good. Well, I want to ask you this also, because when we're in a hurry, yeah. a lot of times we grab for that good old gift card. And I want to ask you, what are the tips that we can get for choosing a thoughtful gift? Because people want to say, oh, wow, you really put thought into this. Thank you. What do you, what do you recommend? Well, I suggest that you know, if you know the, the person well, you'll know their hobbies, their likes, this, their dislikes. Mm. I think that if you know that they like cooking, for example, write a family recipe down in a recipe book. Get them okay. a recipe book. It's inexpensive. It's a couple of dollars. Get the ingredients to make that, whether it's muffins or cake or whatever the item is that you, you want them you want to share with them. Uh -huh. Get them the ingredients. Put them in a basket. And it's a really great gift. And you can yeah. say, you know, let, you, you can write on a card, like, let's make you know, banana bread on Saturday. I, you know, I'd love to hang out with you. Happy holidays or whatever you, you, you want to write to them that is about sharing time with them. True. But that's also a very personal thing to share a family recipe. So I that's a great it. affordable gift. It is. I love that idea. And do you have any other great tips for us as we survive this holiday season? I mean, from the stress to being able to afford it. What other yes. great tips can you give us?
Hostess gifts. Be prepared with mm. hostess gifts because that can be very stressful when somebody invites you to a party, whether it's the last minute or whether you knew it was, it was going to happen because yes. it was all on the calendar and you just forgot. So you don't want to grab a bottle of wine out of your wine cabinet and take it to them because that looks like what everybody else is doing. Okay, I've done so that. I I'm guilty. I, I have too, but now I don't. <laughs> I, I have pump soaps and lotions and I get hand towels, okay. four or six hand towels. and. I put them in a beautiful gift bag, and you'd be surprised at how many times I walk in and they like they look in the bag. They're like, "Oh my God, I have no hand towels in the, in the powder room." And I'm like, "Now you do." Oh my gosh, that's um, awesome! I love it. So they love they love that gift. That that's a great gift. But really, you know, again, it's about speaking to their personality and their mm -hmm. lifestyle, and and sharing something with them that's really warm and friendly. Absolutely. Well, thank you for the warm and friendly tips and for all that you do for all of us with thank your you. great advice all year long. Robert, we thank appreciate you, you being here with us. And next time you're in Albuquerque, we'll, we'll make banana happy bread. <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> thank you so much. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, Nikki. Thank you. And Kristen is now at the weather wall with your weekend forecast.